This is your friend Saranja the Great Prophet. I apologize, my last video had a glitch and cut off the conclusion of what I was discussing in Tesla's biomimetic approach to autonomous driving and why it is on the verge of wild success. I was talking about the media, and the media has conditioned people to believe a falsehood. In fact, they've conditioned people to believe the opposite of reality. One of the reasons I have is probably the main reason I have as many followers as I do on Twitter is because in February of 2020, I foretold that Tesla would be $3,000 a share by the end of 2020. Of course, they did, a, they did a stock split, a five-way stock split in the middle of the year. So 3000 a year was 600 post split. And indeed, it did that, just as I said it would. In fact, it rallied all the way up to $900 a share. I'm sure all of you remember that. Now, a lot of people think that was a, a lucky guess. I was just throwing out numbers. And you're welcome to believe that. But if you've followed me for any period of time, you've seen that I've had way too many accurate predictions to simply chalk it up to luck. In 2020, what I saw was the culmination of a years-long, a years-long anti-Tesla marketing campaign by the mass media. I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos that the, you can see the reason why the media hates Tesla. If you go back, I think it's the second video I have up here, you can find an explanation of that. And in the first video I put out, I talked about this as well. In 2019, Tesla was building a gigafactory in Shanghai. The accomplishment was mind-boggling. It was the first time the foreign company was able to go into China without a local partner. It was absolutely phenomenal what Tesla accomplished in being able to bring that about. And while the media poo-pooed it, and, and while the gigafactory was going up at lightning speed, the stock tanked because the media was running this disinformation campaign. But I could see through it. They were trying to pretend that the other legacy automakers were going to just stomp Tesla out of existence, that they were going to put out all of these electric vehicles, and there was simply nothing in reality to support that. Fast forward now to where we are, 2021. If you have a Tesla, if you drive a Tesla, if you have full self-driving, if you've even seen the videos on social media of, uh, of, the, of the last FSD beta update, what Tesla is doing is miles and miles, in fact, light years ahead of anything that Legacy Auto certainly is doing. But even those who are regarded as the leaders in autonomous driving, for example, Waymo, which the media has conditioned people to believe is the, the leader in autonomous driving and that Tesla is way in the back with this crackpot idea of vision-based driving, even though that's the way humans drive. I'm going to go ahead and say it. The LiDAR strategy that Waymo is following will never bring about autonomous driving. And that is likely to become apparent in the very near future. You know, if you've been watching Tesla stock, and I'm sure if you're listening to this, you probably do, you see a tremendous amount of volatility in the price going from 900 all the way down to 550 over the course of the last six months. But if you pay attention, you'll notice the volume runs. Eh, for the most part, it never gets to more than 40 million shares trading in a day. And so by my estimations, pretty much the same, maybe 25 million shorted shares are being passed around. And when people come to the realization, not only that Tesla is the leader in autonomous driving, but in fact, they are the only ones that are going to achieve autonomous driving, then the principle of scarcity kicks in. The human behavior principle of scarcity. Humans are heavily influenced by the idea that there is a limited amount of something. Think of uh, how much a, a coin can be worth or a stamp can be worth or a, a dollar bill can be worth if it's unique, if there was an, even if there was an error. If something is regarded as scarce, humans attribute greater value to it. And when people realize 
that there's a limited amount of shares of Tesla to buy. You're going to see well, you're going to see a whole multitude of human behavior patterns kick in at one time. But when scarcity kicks in, it's going to take it to a whole nother level. Because how many people do you think are going to want to invest in the only company that has autonomous driving on the horizon? I said it before, we don't have to actually achieve full robo-taxi level 5 autonomy. All we need is for enough cracks in the media's effort to distort the truth and to confuse people and to deceive people and the water is going to come pouring in. And where are people going to buy shares? Elon's not going to sell it to them. Where are the shorts going to buy shares? Elon's not going to sell it to him. He controls, he has 20% of the stock. The index funds can't swim up, can't sell. The people who really believe in the company, we're not going to sell. So how are these people going to cover? How are the shorts going to cover? Anybody who wants to invest, where are they going to get shares? You see, it's going to be scarce. And then on top of it, you're going to have social proof, which is another powerful human behavior principle, which is going to drive the stock price to the moon. And if the reciprocity principle kicks in, and I might save this for a future video, then we're talking about meme level. We're talking GameStop, AMC level. So that's a little bit of my thesis. But what I was saying about the media, again, is that they are distorting the truth and that they have convinced most people that the opposite of reality is the truth. And they're only going to be able to hold that deception a little bit longer. It's coming. From everything I can see in human behavior, this next update is going to break their backs. We shall see. Until next time, Saraja the Great Prophet. Check out Saraja.com. Again, not my company, just some great kids with a great product. Give them a chance.